Hello, welcome to Mr. C's Tips and Tools. Today, I want to showcase an app perfect for a quick and easy presentation. The app is called T-A-W-E. It is pronounced Tool. Once you sign up, you'll be directed first to the front page. The, here's the front page, and it basically looks like this with the upper left corner having a tutorial, which I've somehow deleted. So basically, you take a photo or find something online and download the image. To choose an image in your iPad, uh, just go down to the camera roll, which is at the bottom. It says bottom left, it says library. And you can look, and today I'll choose the learner profile picture that I've taken. Just so that you're aware, the presentation can only be of one image. If you want your kids to make a presentation with more than one images, watch the video on Video Scribe Everywhere. It is this, another app by the same company. So now, once it is, uh, the learner profile is in the program, you will see some of these icons on the upper left corner. As you can see, the hand frame motion with the number one in between, um, the circular icon. This means what your first frame is to look like. So adjust your presentation accordingly. As you can see, on the top it says, pinch to zoom, uh, tap button to set snapshot. So that's basically what you do. And then all the other buttons on the upper left corner, those are, that's the bin, uh, last frame, for, uh, rewind to last frame or fast forward to next frame, etc. But since we're only on the first frame, this is all we can see. Well, I want it small for my first frame so that it gives an audience a pop-up feel and also it spins for me. So once I'm happy with how big it is and um, the spin motion, and here it is, I'm happy, you can just click the snapshot button, see? So now the next thing is I want to show the BPS learner profile for my uh, second scene. So I go ahead and f zoom and here it is. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy. Now actually, you know what? I want to turn it the other way. Uh, just let me go ahead and lean it this way. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is how I like it, so I press the button. So for my third scene now, I want to perhaps choose the uh, TES values. So I go ahead and zoom in and dead center. So I'm happy with this. I can go ahead and click that number three and it's done. And I move on to scene four, which uh, I want to have a spin first and then it goes into the first one is empathy. So I zoom in. Once I am happy, I click the button. And now I go to another um, profile is integrity. And I want to tilt it a little bit. So you just do all the profiles accordingly and just take a snapshot. And the next one, healthy. Snapshot, here it goes. As you can see, it's number seven, now it's number eight. So I have eight scenes. So you just do all of them until you are happy. Here's Adventurers. Okay. So now we can always play back by using the bottom right button. It says play all. So as you can see, you just tap the screen and it will show you how it goes, you see the next scene, the next scene, and the following scene, so on and on and on. Children can just project their presentations onto the smart whiteboard using Apple TV and deliver their presentation. Or they can do voiceovers with uh, the presentation and then publish it at the tool's subsidiary website. As you can see at the bottom left corner, it has a microphone button. You can press that to do voiceovers. And once you press it, it will have the screen. And basically, once you're done, you just move on the screen, uh, the scenes. Once you're done, 
with the entire presentation, you press the upper right corner, the, the X, and it is completed. And then it will be, you can upload it to the tool website for review for the whole class presentation. Okay, I hope uh, you enjoyed this app and that you'll use it for your class. And please give a like to this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.